Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, um, I had a, so many technical difficulties. I am actually shooting this on my phone. I shot the hair portion yesterday because that actually I can use. The rest of the footage I could not use. I realized so many things yesterday learning that I felt like a total idiot, but here we are. It's going to be a get ready with me. It's my everyday makeup that you guys have been asking for, for I think years now. And I just, I put it off. I put off YouTube for a long time. So this video is not going to be like too personal. It's going to be more educational. So please let me know if you liked that or if you didn't like that. I'm treating this as if you guys have never done makeup before. When I was learning and watching YouTube videos, no one really explained things. So I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys are all staying safe. I hope that this message and this video finds you well and in good spirits. Here we go. Okay, so um, I basically already moisturized. So now I'm gonna show you what I do before I set my primer. This is Fenty Beauty Translucent Powder in Butter. And with a big powder brush, just gonna dab it all over my face. Very, very little. This is gonna help set everything better. So now I'm gonna go in with my Hourglass Primer. This is waterproof too, so it's really, really good. And I'm gonna mix it with my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Primer. Just gonna mix them both together. All right, so now that we're prepped and primed and everything, and this is NARS uh, Soft Matte Foundation in Barcelona, Crown C332. I don't know if you noticed, I had a really red pimple here. You could color correct before too, but you don't necessarily have to. It's not what I do on an everyday basis, but I do have one and it's from uh, Dragon Beauty. I had it here just in case I was gonna add that, but I forgot. You can color correct before this and then put a little bit of concealer over and then start this. I think the thing I have to get used to the most is actually looking into the camera. Make sure you push this down all the way to your neck. And right here by your ears. Now we're gonna go with our beauty blender or whatever brush you feel comfortable with using. And be patient with this. Take your time. See how that's blending in really, really nicely. And then push down even farther than what you did with the brush, the foundation brush. And then around your ears. And go with our NARS concealer. And this is in Ginger. Just do a little bit here right there and go in here to brighten up my eye push out just a bit and here and then I have a bit of a shadow here because I have a unibrow so we're gonna go in there a smaller little beauty blender and I'm just gonna start here we're gonna let this sit for a little bit And then our nose, here. I need to feel really badly, so my nails are just causing me problems. Make sure our pimples, anyone else breaking out? Oof, breaking out right here really bad. Let's so remove the mask. While I let this sit a little bit more, I'm gonna tell you guys the powder foundation I'm gonna be using just to lightly set everything on top. So it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, and this is in 260. And that same brush we used in the beginning for the setting powder, we're gonna go in and do all around our face. And we're going to take this off now. So you push up, up, this side, up, out, and then up. All right, we're going to go take our powder, just go all over. Just be careful with this one. You don't want to just put it in one spot or use a small brush for this because it will just kind of stick in that particular area. Now we are going to grab a spoolie, or if you have something like this, where it's an angle brush with a little um, eyebrow brush, we are going to just brush our brows to take off any extra powder or anything that's just sitting there. We are going to take our Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is shade um, Dark Drapes. And take the pencil side first, and we're gonna just brush our brows. We're gonna start here first and brush down. And then to the side. I'm gonna follow the hair. And then now we're gonna start here. If you don't completely feel comfortable with this yet, I wouldn't um, start here at the tip. Kind of work your way. So you can start right here in the middle. Push out. It's okay if it's a little harsh. 
we are going to brush this out. So don't get scared. It goes a long way here. Don't need to press too hard. Better if you start little by little until you're comfortable with it. Now that your brows are about the same, you're gonna go back with your spoolie. They're a little harsh, it's okay. You're just gonna brush up. Just brush. Now we are going to take the ink stain side and just gently, very, very, very gently, gently just gonna make strokes, so. And if that's not perfect, it's okay because you are going to conceal your brows. So you have an opportunity to kind of fix anything that's not perfect with this. With my NARS concealer, I am going to gently go underneath. And with any round kind of um, concealer brush or anything similar to that, mine doesn't really have a name, but it just kind of looks like that. We are going to just brush whatever is left over. And then I'll go under here too because sometimes you leave little creases. Now we are going to bake. I don't bake too much and too long. That's why I like to do it in this step. I'm just going to grab a brush like this or something with like a fine edge and go here. And down very gently. I don't I don't do too much. Nose. And then with this center edge here, top of my nose. I do tend to get really oily on my T-zone, so I just put whatever's left over with a Sephora 36.5. Go over what's left on my brows because this can get a little bit messy so I end up looking like that we are going to start our eyes with the Mario palette and I'm gonna grab my Mac 224 brush so this shade right here I'll grab it there that shade right there I'm just gonna go over my crease So you can go this way, or some people like to go in circular motions like this. Whatever you feel is best, this is a good shadow to try both with, both techniques to see which one just benefits you and which one you feel you can apply your makeup better and what's easier, you know, for your wrist. I am going to take off here and here. So I take off my baking in steps because I don't like it to be too too harsh so yeah i'm treating this as if you guys know nothing about makeup and that's fine that's what i want because when i was watching videos when i was learning no one really did that so now with the same mario palette we're going to grab this color right here and we are going to go in the same section that we did the first shadow this color tends to be more of a brick reddish tone the reason why i'm applying it with this one is that it tones down that reddish tone so it kind of just makes it a nice little brown because of that first shadow we did and it's buildable it's okay if it's messy i am going to go in with a crown 511 Let's see and just kind of clean up right here make it look a little bit softer now I'm gonna go in with my Kylie palette in bronze, the Morphe 505 brush. You can still use the 224 brush from MAC if you don't wanna have different brushes, very lightly with the orange. It's just gonna go on top, just like that. This is just to create a little bit of dimension to add a pop of color. There you go. Depending on what I'm wearing, most of the time I don't know what I'm wearing when I'm doing my makeup. So I won't go too harsh, but depending on what I'm wearing, I can go a little bit deeper with this. I feel like this kind of matches everything. We are going to grab something like this. 
just a tapered brush and with the brown on the Kylie palette, which sure you take off a lot, we're going to just close our eyes and then brush the corner here, just right here, up and down. Kind of look at this corner right here where your eye stops, gently with whatever is left over, push up creates that illusion that's pushing up, kind of like a box eye. And grab your uh, 224 brush and just gently kind of blend it in a little bit more. It's okay. This is just going to help create a different type of smoky eye look. You're still keeping this a little bit lighter and it helps the liner. Or you could just not use any liner if you don't want to and just leave this. So our lashes are going to help cover that. I'm going to grab a little bit of the black, very, very little. And just kind of go over that brown, just like that. Okay, there we go. Now I am going to take off the rest of my baking. This is probably the most impersonal video I will ever have, but I wanted it to be strictly educational. All right, where are we at? We need a little bit of color. We need some color in the front. We are gonna grab a Morphe 421 brush. I don't wanna use this one. With the same one we started with, the Mario palette. I'm gonna grab this third color here. And we'll drop that. Just gently pat a little bit here in the front of your lid, just like that, just like that, and then push up, make sure eye bigger, I've been doing makeup since I was like 16, that's a good 14 years now, and I don't do the crazy crazy looks on people, a lot of my clientele are just regular people going to weddings and stuff. So I do a lot of these looks. So this has become like my specialty. All right, I'm gonna take our eyeliner, any eyeliner of your choice. This one is the Liquid Last Liner from MAC in Point Black. And we are going to just give ourselves a liner, not a complete liner, just here on the corner. So just like that to start off. Do this whatever size you want. I tend to go a little bit bigger here just because it does make your eye look bigger with the lashes that I tend to use. But you don't have to do such a heavy liner. And then I don't go all the way through the eye, just like that. Go according to whatever lash you want to use. If you do a really thick liner like the one I just did with like a baby lash, I feel like your lashes kind of get hidden in that liner. And it takes a while to dry. So be mindful of that. I have clients that like will open their eyes when I say close so I can do this and then they open them when I turn around to grab something else and then their whole look is ruined. Okay, they're cousins, they ain't perfect. They are not twins, not today. So with the Fenty Beauty, the mirror I've been using, Fenty Beauty in Private Island, and just any brush. It's okay if it's harsh, you're gonna push up towards your hairline, back down and then up. It's okay if it's harsh, I'm gonna show you how to take that down. Create your jawline if you don't really have one, I just do it out of habit now. Or contour it if you feel like you have a little bit of a double chin. It doesn't matter how skinny you are, you can have one. And then brush down to your neck. Tiny bit on your forehead. I mean, if you got a big forehead, go for it. And then you're gonna grab a kabuki brush. I don't see a lot of people use these. 
but I really, really like it. I've been using it for so long. Okay, we're gonna grab our blush. It's Sweet as Cocoa by MAC. I keep forgetting that I'm recording on my phone and my camera's right here, but it didn't work. And I keep looking into it, so I'm sorry. I should have just put it away. So this actually, I heard, is discontinued. But if you go into MAC and you ask them for something similar, I'm sure that they'll have something. Okay. With a A26 brush from Anastasia and our Benefit Hula bronzer. Just gonna go down, create the line. There you go. Go all the way down first. Go with this area right here, push up. I'm gonna create a little bridge right there. And then I'm gonna go here, up, up, here, up, here, up, down, down, bridge. Let's grab your curling device. My mascara is from Mexico, so sorry. They have the best mascara. I don't buy any here. Just lightly. While we let that dry, we're gonna work on our lower lash line now. A Morphe 213 brush, my Mario palette. That matte two that we used, the very first color. I'm just gonna go in, brush all the way through. Let me show you. All the way through. I love this color. Then we're gonna grab that brick color that we had used earlier too and gently start just on the outside. and work your way in, just like that. On the outside, if you're having trouble, um, kind of go like this to your eyes. So squint them a little bit. And now we're gonna grab our brown. And just brush, we always start here with the darker colors. Start here and brush. You're just kind of sweeping it through like that. For you people that are bold, grab a little bit of black, just a tiny bit of black. Make sure you take off the extra amount, the excess, just lightly on the corner, just like that. Next one. There you go. I'm gonna do Baddie B lashes in Baddie. Um, I don't like her. I do not like supporting her, but I have not found another eyelash that I like with this style. I have not. So if you know what these lashes are and you've used them and you found a alternative, please leave me a comment because I will buy them. I don't like to get political. I mean, I do, but not while filming something beauty related. But if you guys don't know the tea, look it up. My House of Lashes glue, the dark one. Yeah, look up that tea on Jenny69 and why you don't wanna support her. So see, this, see, this is why I can't talk about other things. I just got distracted. So you're gonna put some glue on your lid. This will help you if you have trouble keeping your lashes together or put the, putting them on. So because this is black, be very, 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 very careful because you can ruin your whole look like this. If you're not familiar with doing this technique, 
Start off with a clear lash glue first. So now you're gonna grab it with tweezers or with a lash applicator, whatever you have. You're gonna grab it as close to the, I lost the word, the band. As close to the band as possible. You're gonna go upside down completely. And just stick it in the middle first, just like that. Plop the last two sections of your lash a little bit higher. That's why that liner was so big. So you'll notice a gap right here between my actual lashes that are right here and my lash right here. It's gonna give you that elongated like fox look. It doesn't matter how many times you do this. If your eyes water, they're gonna water. All right, now I am just pushing my natural lashes with the false lashes together. That helps bring my lashes up and it makes my eyes look bigger. I'm gonna go in with my Kelly Baker Beauty gel for my eyebrows. The reason why I don't do this in the beginning is because of all the baking. I like to push everything aside because this is gonna leave my eyebrows a little hard. I'm very proud of myself for remembering this step because there are times where I'm doing my makeup and I honestly forget until I'm driving off in the car and I get upset. Artist Couture in Illuminati. We're gonna highlight just, just a little bit right now. Just on my Cupid's bow. Here on my nose, just here on the tip. Right here on my nose. Basically where I had put all the concealer. Inner corner. Makes your eyes pop. There you go. KKW Beauty Nude Lip Liner in two. MAC Lipstick in Shrimpton. You pat. Pat, pat, pat. If there is something you did not understand, throughout this entire process. Leave a comment and I will be answering back to you guys. I don't always do a lip gloss, but if I do, it's gonna be the Kylie lip gloss in literally. Just gonna grab a little bit here, here, and here. I switched up my lighting because the sun really is going down. And then we're gonna do our lower lash line. Setting spray, Urban Decay All Nighter. Spray the hell out of yourself, it's okay. No pasa nada. That is the final look for my face. You made it this far, thank you. I put a leave-in treatment and a volumizing spray and now I'm just kind of parting my hair to get it started with a curling iron. I'm gonna show you just my everyday curls. Paul Mitchell one and one fourth, I think this is. I'm just gonna go one to kind of warm it up and then about halfway, I'm gonna curl, push down, curl all the way up. Let's sit for a little bit. I'm gonna push down so there's like half of it still sticking out right here. I'm gonna push down to kind of get all of it. Make sure I don't miss. I'm trying to look into my mirror. Curl it. Just let it sit a little bit longer. I really just need to redo my room. I'm way too old to have a pink wall. Actually I've never liked pink but before this it was like a lime green that my family made me do. Same thing. About halfway and curl. All right, so you see how I kind of push it down on my own. I don't actually count. I just kind of chill, but you can do like 20 seconds. My hair is a lot longer than it normally is, especially my layers. So it's going to look a little bit flat than what it normally looks like. So I'm going to grab another section, pretty decent size, about that much. When I get to this portion, because I already um, put it up in a clip, I will brush it again. And then this one, I don't leave it too flat, so I won't go once all the way down. Just pull. Pull pretty hard. Don't let it sit like that. You let it sit like this, vertical. Couple seconds. Push down. Same thing. I understand now why YouTubers make the money that they make. Like, it takes a big personality, and if you have an off day, yeah, your video is going to show it. And yesterday when I recorded, recorded that I was doing this, a couple days ago and um well a couple days from when i'm gonna put this out but it was technically yesterday and i woke up and i had a really off day and my anxiety was through the roof and it was kind of one of those days when you wake up and you just know like today's gonna be a really bad day i tried my best to stick it out and i was like you know you got this you could do this it's about time uh the day before that i couldn't find my charger so i put it off and then 
I told myself, okay, this is the day. Like, I don't care how you woke up, you're gonna do this. And I recorded it halfway through, not even halfway through. My camera just turned off, like it just stopped recording. I adjusted everything, hit record. And then I didn't realize because I couldn't see the other end that your memory card was already full. And it didn't record any of my look, like the rest of it was. So I was pissed. I was gonna wipe everything off and start over and then my camera died. So I think there's like something wrong with my camera. It just, it dies way too fast. Hold on, quick break from that story. We're gonna grab another chunk on the top. Push down like that. So my camera dies. It's like 4.30 at this point. The sun goes down in like an hour. I'm screwed. There's no way I can just re-record this because it's just, my room is just really, there's way too much light in this room. Like my curtains are just completely closed right now. I wanted to flip this table. And I was like, you know what? I just knew today was gonna be a bad day. Felt it today I'm just off but it was a blessing in disguise because while I was recording I felt so off it felt so forced I think that was kind of just God telling me like no you don't want to put this out like this is not your vibe you know it is who you are but it's not who you are if that makes any sense like anxiety doesn't define you you know it, it messes with your day but it doesn't define you it's something you live with and you work through but it's not necessarily who you are you there's a personality there and anxiety messes with that personality. Sorry, I should take a break and explain. So I don't go all the way down, but you guys kind of saw that already. I don't go all the way down. I just curl in chunks, you know, little by little, I'll push it down and I'll just curl, keep it like this. So yeah, was I upset? Yes. But I knew that when I was recording, like I was trying to force jokes and no. And I was, sh I was shaking of how nervous I was. Like I'm nervous now, but I was shaking. Down. So. I redid everything today. I don't know what's going on with my camera, but now I'm using my phone. So now I'm parting it down the middle, but I don't always use it down the middle. So I'm gonna grab this little section right here, just push it to the side and separate this section into two. And I'm gonna start with the back section. It's a very small piece, so do not leave it as long as you did everything else because it's gonna be really curly if you do. So just like three seconds or so with each section. So it matches everything. You don't want it a lot curlier than everything else. I would normally leave my bangs out, but my hair is so grown out, I don't have bangs anymore. Take this out. Curl this whole section right here. This one, because it's a bigger chunk, I leave it in a tiny bit longer. All right, we're gonna take this out now. That was like probably five seconds or so. Have this whole front portion right here, so you can see it. Start. Notice how I never really change my curling irons direction. Just always stays standing up like vertical. Very little. So now we're done with our hair. You are going to let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. And hairspray before you let it sit if you want. This is Paul Mitchell's Marula Oil hairspray. I like it because it's really soft and it smells really good. I've also used their Worked Up that I really like. And you can spray a lot. Nothing happens because it's a very soft hairspray. I turned 30 and I got gray hairs and hella flyaways. After you brush out, you're gonna use your super skinny serum from Paul Mitchell. Any type of smoothing serum you have is fine. And you can either use your brush or a big comb. Paul Mitchell as well. I'm gonna show you the difference. Do this side with the comb, just out. And I push back too. And then your brush. You see how this was kind of flattened more? Push it back. Shake out your curls and then push it forward again. Shake them out. Can you grab a little bit of serum? One pump. I didn't even push it all the way down. You could see that. It's like the size of a dime. Go like this. And then you are just going to push up. Almost as if your hair is naturally curly. Push up on the ends. Not too much because you don't want to weigh it down. So it's okay if you have some on your hands left over. Don't ever grab serum and do this. Unless you're flat ironing it, but even then, like, your hair will look greasy. This is the final look. Did my hair pretty quickly. And the final makeup look. Leave a comment below if you liked it, didn't like it, if there was something I could change, I could do better in. 
obviously my lighting was a huge issue in this video so I really really do apologize I'm trying to get better and I'm trying to work with the tiny space that I have I hope you are safe and healthy with your family I pray that you guys are good uh, not only on the outside but on the inside protect yourself protect your mental health thank you guys again so much for watching please again stay safe drop a comment below drop a thumbs up whatever you need to do I'm responding to everything Thank you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Bye. Till next time.